Okay, this is the last, <laughs> the last bit of question five, and this seems to come out quite regularly. So again, I think for this, we we did quite a few questions, didn't we, in our last class on, on this? Um, and really, again, I think this is the solution to this is understanding where these things will go. Now, this is allowance for um, doubtful debts. This is, if you like, the liability or the um, the provision you are making. You can see it's a credit anyway, it's a liability. So I think understanding clearly, if you can label these, then you know where they go in this day. We, again, I reiterate, only I's and E's go in the statement of profit and loss, only I's and E's, right? And only A's, um, C, D, of course, um, will come in here. And of course, I minus E is profit, and that's what we're going to see right all the way at the bottom over here. And I minus E is the difference between, of course, this is the I's, these are the I's, forgive me, and these are the E's. So the difference, of course, will come in here. And of course, the flip side, of course, will go into the statement of profit and loss. It's pretty straight. So your key aim is to label these correctly. You know, bank is an asset, capital is C, closing inventory. Well, remember that with closing inventory, the debit here is the um, asset. And the adjustment, if you like, is the statement of pro Sorry, what am I doing? The debit here is the asset and the credit is in the statement of profit or loss yes that's what because this is coming off cost of sales right depreciation is an expense expense so this this here was asset and of course um expense if you like irrecoverable debts this is an expense office expense expense these are adjustments so this is the first time this is coming through and that's going to go through there this is an office expense you're going to add these two together because they're both on the debit side and they're both going to go here opening inventory it's an expense that you, you, you sell your opening inventory other payables you did an, another adjustment and that of course becomes an, an, this is a liability it says payables this is an expense this is an expense this is an expense payroll cost this is an expense and that goes through as an expense purchases definitely expense Purchase ledger control account. This is a liability. You do a further adjustment, it goes over there. Sales, this is income, isn't it? You come over there. Sales ledger control account. This is an asset and it goes over here. There are no adjustments to it. Suspense so account, this should become zero, right? Because these two things fix this. You should have nail, nail, and everything coming there. VAT, you seem to owe a certain amount. You've adjusted, but still you owe because you're owing this. You adjusted for this, but you're still owing. This is a liability. It comes over there. Vehicles, it's an asset, right? And we adjust it, add that on. You must have bought some new vehicles. I don't know. That plus that gives you an increased asset over there. And you have this accumulated appreciation, which of course sits next to it. And then you add everything down. So what I think we should just do for this is just look at the, um, look at what they're doing in the answers. And you can see um, straight away that there's nothing really. This is a lovely 11 marker, which I really think you should just pick up all the marks on. Don't, don't, don't make a, don't lose marks on this one. But the key point really is that here, um, if you look at notice here, the key point is that the, the difference between the statement of profit and loss here, you have definitely your credits are greater than your debits, so you have a profit because this is greater than this. That's what this is the this is the balancing figure. Of the profit and that of course gets added on here because really the whole point again going back to the accounting equation is that all profit i minus e simply gets added on to c doesn't it i mean this is ultimately c this this whole event here um, in the statement of profit and statement of financial position and you can see this over here so just follow through and follow everything i've just done but the key point again is label these and then you're you're there and that kind of tells you where you're going right Great stuff. Well, good luck with your paper, and um, um, you'll hear from me um, later on during the week.